What's happening, you guys? Welcome back to Let's Go Win Podcast. You're here for a Tuesday tune-up, and we have a special guest here today. She decided to come back. I'm J.M. Ryerson. And I'm Lisa Ryerson. What's up? I don't think it was by choice. It was kind of like, hey, I need you on this podcast today. Well, I wasn't going down. That wasn't the topic for today, but everything <laughs> in life is a choice, my love. Let's be clear about this. You could have chosen to say no. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that you chose to say yes, because I did ask. Um, but yeah, everything is a choice, just so we're clear. <laughs> well, just like today, choosing to fill your relationship bucket, it's a choice. You don't have to do it. Oh, by the way, that's what we're talking about today. Um, <laughs> But you know, it is a choice. And one of the things that you and I have chosen to do recently is uh, filling our relationship bucket. And we do it in, as per the usual, three ways that we really do. And it's kind of our nighttime routine. Now this won't, this will be very PG, okay? <laughs> we are talking about, keep take your head out of the gutter, you especially. Um, no, this is this is about connecting with one another, talking about, your day, talking about what you're trying to accomplish, reconnecting with one another so that you can be your best teammate with each other, both in a relationship and as parents and as trying to achieve all these things that we're trying to do. But I think we do a couple of things that would be helpful to others. So with no further ado, I'm going to say clearing. Before we start anything, before we even start talking about what we're trying to do, how our day went. If we have something to clear, this is that safe space to do it. So why clearing? What What is the purpose and what do you get from that? Well, I think it's really important to clear things, right? Because if you, I remember when we got married and there was, we had people like write advice cards. And I just remember this one card sticking out specifically. And I forget who wrote it, but it was very profound. But it said, never go to bed angry. And I think that is so important because, you know, sometimes I do go to bed angry, you know, not very often, but I go to bed angry and then in the morning I wake up and it's like starting the whole day off already on a negative note. And so when we clear things, it's awesome. It's like, Hey, we're going to clear it. We're going to let it go. And we're not going to talk about it again. So let's talk about, let's be clear on the clearing. When somebody's clearing something, this isn't your opportunity to then retort, go back and say, no, this is why I said blah, blah, blah. It's just their opportunity to say, this is what I need to get off my chest. This is what I'm feeling. Now, I will say often, I'm not, I try to stay positive. So often I'll start clearing and then I start talking about wins. <laughs> and she's like, hey, dude, we're talking about clearing stuff that's bothering you. So I tell you that to say, I set up your ground rules with your clearing and maybe you have somebody, your accountability partner that holds you accountable to say, let's focus on what we need to get. And then we'll talk about some of the other stuff. Um, but clearing is a healthy exercise. It allows you to not go to bed angry. Mm -hmm. And to your point, because I don't know about, well, actually, I, I do know for you, when you think about something before you go to bed, if you don't verbalize something typically positive, or let's say you do talk about something negative, this is something maybe we can explore. Sometimes that'll show up in your dreams, mm -hmm. right? And it actually happened last night in a weird way. But yeah. we talked about something and it showed up. So it was a nightmare. It, yes, it was. <laughs> but this is why you clear it out, get it out, because it's going to show up that nightmare. But then if you talk about the next thing, which I call manifestation, like what, what do we want to bring into our life? What are we trying to do? What what is the positive that we want to bring to the world? That's the second piece. So we've cleared everything. Now we're going to manifest. And you and I have our own specific thing that we go through every single night. Mm -hmm. But we're clear, right? Like, do you know what we're doing for the next 10 years? Like, you're, we're clear on that, right? Well, not necessarily the steps, but I know exactly where our end goal is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And often when I when I speak to couples or companies or many people, and I say, what are you trying to accomplish? They're not clear on that. So the idea of speaking it out to the universe, manifesting 
whatever those are, this is your chance as a couple to say, we want X. And then it, I know we have so many positive conversations when we talk about this part, because we've cleared the negative. Now we're talking about, hey, what do we want to do? So what are your thoughts on just manifestation in general? Um, I truly believe in it. I mean, it has worked my life for many years. Um, you know, going back to even in high school, I remember my dad was talking to me about visualization. Big word today. Visualization. <laughs> Visualization. Um, and I remember the specific thing was there was a tournament. It was in Northern California, wherever it was, the tournament. It was like the sectional tournament for Northern California. And I just remember, I mean, I was kind of an underdog. And my dad goes, visualize. Like, visualize and really manifesting it and really wanting it and seeing yourself winning. And I remember doing that that night. And the next day, um, I won that tournament. It was crazy. And I remember looking back going, wow, like I was able to manifest that. And so moving forward, you know, even it worked in college. I mean, anything I ever put my mind to, and you know, if it's a contest to win, or if it's a goal to hit a certain income level or whatever, um, I've been able to do it. And I truly believe it's really manifesting it and believing that you can do it. And we're not the most religious um, human beings, but we are definitely spiritual. And I do believe there's the universe is out there and they're there to help you get whatever you want. Yeah. Whether you call it manifestation, law of attraction, energy, whatever you want to call it. When you speak it, when you, when you start to verbalize, whatever that is, whether, so in this case, my partner now knows where I want to go, but more than just that, I have the energy of the world that also knows, okay, this is putting out there. I'll give you a quick example. We were walking along Fort Lauderdale, now would have been four years ago. And I said to Lisa, and I, I promise you, I was not manifesting or not purposefully, mm -hmm. but I said, you know what? I can see us living here someday. And she said, there's no way in hell we are ever moving here. I, I pretty much, I think verbatim, those are your words. Well, guess what? Two years later, here we are. It was a really hot day. It was hot. It was July. It was super hot. And I'm like, there's no way I could ever live here. And here we are living here every day in hot weather. <laughs> and so just me, A, speaking it, right? And now it gets planted in her subconscious that certain things happen. She starts to look at Florida maybe differently. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, two years later. So I've seen this continuously in my life. It, it's something that I believe in. The law of attraction, manifestation, energy, the universe, people conspiring to help. So be clear on it. Not This is not your clearing. This is your positive side. Whatever you want to speak into existence, whatever you speak into existence, excuse me, make sure it's what you want. Because you, if you speak into existence the things that you don't want, they will come as well. That's the part of the manifestation that most people don't like to hear, but it's just true. If you're negative, you're constantly saying, I'm this and it's negative. Oh yeah, the universe will 100% provide that for you. This other one is a really simple thing that we do, but I love it. And I, I just want people to, we do a, a breathe and connection. So we've done the clearing. Now we've manifested what we want. And typically right before bed, and then certainly when we wake up, we will just hold one another's hand and breathe. And it's just a way to connect with one another, not saying a word, just getting that connection. And I don't know where we even came up with it. I think you came up with this. No, Heather did. Heather told us to do that. Oh, why did, why? I mean, I love that we do it and it, it is, but did she say why? I'm just curious. I don't quite remember. This was probably, I don't know, about a year ago. And she was, I think it's really important for you and Jane to connect on a level and to be grounded together. So that we're on the same page. I think it's like starting off your day on the same page, ending your day on the same page. And it really does help. I think it's just one of those things like no matter how pissed you are at your significant other, maybe, um, you know, we do our clearing, we breathe, and it's kind of, it starts back at like ground level and it's like a clean slate and then you move forward with your day. And it is, it's a routine that we do. Uh, the nighttime routine maybe takes five minutes. The morning routine maybe takes, I don't know, a minute, 
or two, because we don't do the clearing and manifestation, although we should consider that. She's usually not awake that much mm -hmm. uh, at that time. But the breathing thing and connecting with one another, it is interesting how much calmer, I will say, the waters seem to be in our home since we've done this, where even to your point, even when she's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Uh, I mean, really? Am I? Yes. When? Right now. No. Oh, because I said <laughs> because that you were. Because you said I'm cuckoo. <laughs> like, like said, I'm cuckoo for cuckoo means you're cuckoo. Okay. Cuckoo. So whoever's hormonal, which typically it's not me, <laughs> typically it's not. Uh, it, it does. It calms all these waters. There's something about just breathing together, quick connection, where everything calms down. So for relationships, guys, that's just something that we utilize. It's it's really fast. Like I said, it's less than 10 minutes a day, but to really connect with your significant other, to talk about uh, your hopes and dreams and desires, and to clear whatever shit that you may have with one another and know that it, you have a safe space to do it in without it becoming a fight. It, it just kind of, all the boxes get checked off. Mm -hmm. And so I just, I wanted to share that with you because uh, I think every relationship needs a little, you gotta, you gotta water the plant for it to, you know, really flourish. And so that's the idea. Just want you guys to water your relationship plants. Uh, where can they find us, share, I'll let you end it today since you have been on in a while. <laughs> I'm out of practice. Uh, basically, we're at Let's Go Win 365 on Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok. Oh, TikTok. One of your, your videos going to go viral soon. Uh, so check out TikTok. And of course, our Let's Go Win podcast, which is what you're on. So we've got tons of episodes um, to a week that drops and lots of fun. Yeah, I'd just ask you to share it. Share with anybody relationship you know that should hear this because I know we've had our fair share of, you know, peaks and some valleys and this helps us stay in the peaks. I really have to say these three things, clearing, manifest, breathe and connect, share this episode out with others that would benefit from it. Until next time, remember you guys, we appreciate you so much. Show up as you and we will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for listening. If this content is delivering value to you, please make sure to subscribe, rate, and review us. That helps us build this community, and that is what we are all about. Building this community as big as we can, helping as many people as we can, and deliver as much value as possible. Be sure to head over to letsgowinpodcast.com for information on my coaching courses, and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn at Let's Go Win 365. Let's go win and transcend in life. This is the Let's Go Win Podcast with your host, J.M. Ryerson.